Hey guys, this is Amy, and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my bag. Ooh, it fell. <laughs> As a model, one of the most important things that's in your bag is your portfolio. And in your portfolio, you have your comm cards and all your shoots and photos from all your shoots and all that good stuff. And I would say the one at the front, the nylon one, is probably my favorite shoot because it was the first time I finally got a nylon Singapore and I was so happy, it was such a great achievement. And I also got spread an interview in it, in it, so that was nice. To keep up with all the last minute castings, it's always good to carry a pair of heels and I love these ones. They're so comfortable, easy to walk in. Any casting I get last minute, I know I'm able to ace them and you don't want to miss last minute castings just in case you miss a good opportunity, so heels. And I've also got my handy dandy earphone box. And inside, as you can see, I've got an iPhone 7, so I've got this little adapter thing, which is so important because if you lose it, you can't listen to your music with your own earphones because I've got my favorite earphones here. And also because I'm flying around all the time and I travel so often, I have this airplane adapter, which is so useful because I don't know why airplane sound quality is still so bad and it's 2017, but it's so sucky when you, have to, when you want to use your own earphones and you plug it in into one of those two holes and only one of the earphones works. So get this, not expensive, makes every plane ride so much better. I also like to carry around this uh, portable charger, which is always good. And this one in particular actually shows you how much battery you have. How sucky is it when you want to charge your phone and your phone is on like 2% and your portable charger is actually already dead, so carry this. And I usually carry this around with me, but I forgot to bring it today. It is this book right here. It's called The Paleo Manifesto, and when you're waiting at casting, sometimes the waiting times are super long. Don't always want to be on Instagram, like looking at the same photos over and over again. And this book is really interesting because it is all about our ancestors and how we can learn from their diet and their activities to really improve our health and our wellness to thrive in our daily lives. So, read this book twice. Highly recommend. Please read it. It is awesome. And if you have any more questions, it's actually about the paleo diet, by the way. If you have any more questions about the paleo diet, which I was on, um, you can just hashtag Ask Amy and I can answer it in my next video. And I've got my makeup bag, which has all sorts of goodies in it. I've got this uh, Bioderma cleansing water for after I work out just to clean my skin and my Kiehl's water gel which I absolutely love to use day in day out. I use it every single day, morning and night. Um, I've also got this which my fellow Asians would know. This is Bai Hua Yo, which is white flower oil. It's like this menthol Chinese ointment oil thing. I get migraines a lot, so I like to use this instead of taking medication all the time. And it smells super minty. And uh, it kind of, it really helps me with my migraines, especially when I'm like on set. The lights are super bright, and obviously you can't just like go home in the middle of a shoot. You just, it's super minty. Just put some on like your temples. Mm. <laughs> And then you can put some under your nose so you just feel minty. And uh, yeah, this stuff's good. I really love this. My dad actually uses this all the time. And my dad is white, by the way, and he's probably more Asian than I am. And he has like a whole stash of these in all different sizes. I've seen ones that are like this small and ones that are like this big. He has them all. So, this stuff. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite, Burt's Bees Lip Balm. This one is actually, it's also minty. Maybe I just have a thing with minty stuff. It's so nice. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen my previous interviews. I always say that I can leave the house and make my way back home without my phone or my wallet. Uh, but I can never leave the house without lip balm because if I don't have lip balm, my lips are dry. I just feel so uncomfortable. I can't smile. If you suddenly laugh and your lips crack and bleed, oh, all this bad stuff. So, my favorite. Get this. Can get it at Sephora. Ah, contact lenses. These ones are AccuView Oasis, and I've been using AccuView Oasis for probably, I would say, four or five years. I've been using them for so long, and these are dailies. And 
Uh, in modeling, you know, you're always getting makeup put on you. Sometimes, like, through no one's fault, like sometimes eye eyeshadow or whatever gets inside your eye and your eye feels really uncomfortable or it gets on your contact. You can't just take it out because then it dries out and all that. So it's nice to have extras lying around. Actually, fun fact, my first shoot, let me see if I can find it. My first shoot when I was 13 was a shoot for Attribute. Hang on, let me find it. Here it is! This is a baby! Actually, I don't know. I look the same, maybe. But yeah, this one, this one was a shoot that was actually... It basically, this is the shoot that actually got me into modeling. I knew absolutely nothing about modeling before that, and then for whatever reason, after you saw potential in me, they booked me, and that kind of got me started. Right, I've also got some makeup in here, and this is a NARS uh, matte, it's called NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I love using this. I'm not really a fan of wearing a lot of foundation, especially when you go to castings, you don't want to cake your face with too much makeup, so I like to just use this. You kind of just dab it underneath your eye, like to cover your eye bags, make yourself look a bit more awake, and a bit more bright, and you put it in over, of course, like any blemishes, and on your highlight areas and uh, it really covers your skin well, and then your skin looks flawless after, so I love this. I always carry around a proper eyelash curler, and I know a lot of models I've met uh, through my travels, they like to carry around this small, like compact one, it's about this big, and I don't know, I never thought that those really, I never thought they were really good, so I like to just use the, just bring them around the real thing. It's really bulky, but it's worth it to me. And I've got these two eyeliners. This is a pencil eyeliner by YSL, and this is a Stila Fine Tip Eyeliner. And this eyeliner is like super, super fine. It's so pointy. And this one is like the blackest eyeliner I've ever seen in my life. You literally just need to put it on your waterline like once. And it's like, you instantly look different. And I love to use this just to kind of turn it into a, from a day to a night look if I'm going out, because I don't really wear eyeliner during the day either. Oh, almost forgot. My water bottle. <laughs> How did I forget to talk about this? So right now I've got this water bottle. It's an Adidas water bottle. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but in all of my workout Instagram videos, I've got this super cool, uh, it's, it's like a water bottle that has gel inside. It looks like it's like a crackle kind of configuration. It looks really cool. But basically the gel you can freeze it in the freezer, you put it in the freezer and it will freeze and basically it will make, it acts as ice, it will make the water or whatever you're holding inside your water bottle cold and if you don't freeze it, it just looks really sick and I lost it recently <laughs> and I'm so sad, I left it in the gym and someone either took it or threw it away, I don't know why because my name was on it so I was really sad, so this one's nice too though. Stay hydrated, bring a water bottle. And another thing that I wear around all the time, it's not technically in my bag, but I wear it every day, it's my Fitbit. And I just got this for my birthday, and it is super good because I work out a lot, so it's nice that this can help me track exactly what I'm doing, it helps me track my heart rate, how many calories I'm burning, all that, how many steps I'm taking. I've been taking like 10,000 steps consecutively every day, so it's a nice like reassurance that you're actually moving, so Fitbit. That's good. My phone! <laughs> I don't usually go around without my phone because it's got all my pictures of my family and my friends and all my good memories and Instagram and all that good stuff. So I don't usually go around without it, but if I do, as long as I've got lip balm, I'm fine. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching what is in my bag. Make sure to subscribe. I think it's down there, might be up there somewhere. Subscribe to Basic Models, follow me on all my social media accounts, and make sure to uh, hashtag Ask Amy if you've got any questions that I can help answer in my next video. Bye.